Well, right about now, you might be asking yourself a very serious question. Uh, Jay, why is there a MacBook Pro on your desk? Well, I'm glad you asked. I have just converted to Apple. And 10,000 of you just unsubscribed. Stop, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm just kidding. No, what you see behind me here is actually my wife's June 2009 edition 13 inch MacBook Pro that she has had for almost seven years. We've had this since it was brand new and it was a heck of a trooper and it's lasted all these years, but it's really starting to feel slow and antiquated. And trust me, I am not about to drop some money on updating a MacBook Pro. In fact, the wife even asked me if I would buy her a new MacBook Pro and it kind of went something like this. Um, honey, you know my computer's getting kind of old now and I'd really like a new computer and I was really hoping that maybe you could buy me like a, like a new MacBook Pro maybe? Girl, you're crazy. Okay, so maybe it didn't exactly go down that way because after all, I do want to stay married. Uh, but I really did have a hard time buying a new MacBook Pro considering how expensive they are and the fact that even the $2,199 model of the MacBook Pro didn't even have wireless AC. I mean, what the fuck, Apple? So anyway, we made a compromise and we decided that this old thing doesn't need to be here anymore. It really fell. It, it, uh... It really just fell out of the chair. I threw it in. The DX Racer like literally took it and threw it back on the floor. I am not even kidding. Like I had the DX Racer set up over there. I'm like, oh, I'll toss this, it'd be kind of funny. It bounced off the DX Racer and back onto the floor. I sure hope she doesn't watch this video. Well, nothing's shaking and the screen didn't break. Okay then, moving on. Today's video sponsor is lynda.com slash J, the online learning platform with over 3,000 on-demand video courses to help you strengthen your business, technology, or just your creative skills. lynda.com slash J is for problem solvers, for the curious, or for people who just want to make things happen. You know, kind of like me. Maybe you want to master Excel or learn negotiation tactics, learn Photoshop, or make your videos just look awesome. Go to lynda.com slash J and feed your curious mind. Some of the courses I recommend are videography, IT and hardware, or even video editing. With a lynda.com membership, you can watch and learn from top experts from around the world who are passionate about teaching. Courses are structured so you can watch them from start to finish or consume them in smaller bite-sized pieces if that's more your style. Take notes as you go and refer to them later and become an expert on the subjects that you want to learn more about. Your lynda.com membership will give you unlimited access to training on hundreds of topics all for one flat fee. So whether you're looking to become an expert, you're really passionate about a hobby, or you just want to learn something new because you're a knowledge sponge, then head on over to lynda.com slash J now and sign up for your free 10-day trial. That's L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash J-A-Y. Be sure to use that URL, that way they know that I'm the one that sent you. So instead I bought my wife a brand, yes, bought my wife. Why not actually buy my wife? I bought her the computer, you, you know what I'm saying. She's not mail order. But I bought the wife an MSI Apache GE72 with a 960M and a Core i7 and 16 gigabytes of RAM, 1600 megahertz, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a one terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive. That's okay though, because it's usually cheaper to buy a bigger SSD and put it in your machine later than buying a machine that's already spec'd out with a one terabyte or bigger SSD, because often that'll come with bigger GPUs than maybe you're willing to pay for, or even a higher end uh, CPU, which is gonna make the price go way up. So of course you can do what I did, which is buy the laptop that's within your budget, and then do a lesser expensive SSD upgrade later on if the hard drive turns out to be a little bit too slow for you. Now I thought it was gonna be fine. I thought there'd be no problems with the hard drive in there. But considering all the systems around here, even Little J's has an SSD in it. Um, yeah, it's a little bit slower than I thought. Now what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna kinda go ahead and time a restart. And this is on Windows 10 with its advanced Hibernate where it's supposed to be a quicker shutdown and a quicker restart. Let's go ahead and find out if that holds true or not. Bam. Hmm. I gotta wait through this just like you guys. Yep. Restarting. So. Hmm. 
<laughs> splash screen's a good sign. A little bio splash screen. Windows booting logo thingy. Still on. The screen just turns black, as you can see. And there's nothing on this laptop. The only thing that's been installed on this laptop is Minecraft. She plays Minecraft. Oh, look. Now we got a Windows image. What is it about notebook hard drives that makes them so much slower? I know the platter's smaller, but you would think if the platter was smaller, then there would be lesser search area, right? You think you could find something faster because it's not as big of a platter. I'll be honest, I'm, I'm not, not really an expert on the way the platters work on H, uh, HDDs or hard disk drives. I don't know what makes the smaller ones so much slower than the bigger ones. Hmm, still spinning at the same RPM, same amount of cash. That was painful. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's take this 960 gigabyte Savage upgrade kit. Let's put it in the machine. Let's see how much faster it actually gets. Now, one thing you've got to keep in mind is that this could void your warranty. This laptop does not have the quick access panels like found on the bottom of my Asus here. This massive, oh, there goes the SSD. This massive, massive laptop here does have access panels that pop off without the need of, well, one screw right there. But there's no warranty sticker on there saying warranty void if removed. Unfortunately, the MSI does have one of those stickers, but that's okay because warranties are for poor people. Don't get mad at me. I'm not the one that came up with that saying. It's actually Barnacles. Go get mad at him. Tweet him and tell him, hey, I find that poor people comment very offensive. Very offensive to poor people and rich people alike. All right, enough. Let's go ahead and upgrade this bitch. Well, the hard drive is installed and the clone is complete because of easy use software like Acronis HD, which Kingston includes with the SSD. So thank goodness for that. And I'm also really happy they included this external enclosure because one of the things you have to do when you install a new SSD or hard drive that you're gonna clone into a laptop is you have to take the original drive out first, put the new drive in second, and then plug this into the system and create a bootable media source uh, like this one here, which is actually, you know, Acronis has its own bootable media, but it's done in a Linux environment. And then you can, as you saw, run the cloning utility, which takes about 10 minutes or so. And then once you reboot the system with all that crap unplugged, here you go. You've got everything left off right where you were, as if you'd never changed anything, but hopefully with much faster speeds. Now with that said, let's go ahead and do a restart test so that we can see if we do actually have faster speeds. And we're gonna start that right now. 
I would assume it's going to be faster because it's an SSD. And if it wasn't faster, then what's the point of doing any of this? It has to be faster. Now, SSDs on average are about seven times faster or so than hard drives. Hard, now, a, a laptop hard drive is usually right around 100 to 140 megabytes per second read-write, and these drives are exceeding 500 megabytes per second. So I guess my math is a bit off. It's going to be at least four times faster. We'll, we'll do that. Math is hard. So there we have a Windows 10 splash screen. And I'm kind of surprised. It still sits on the, the login welcome screen for a little bit longer than I would have thought. I don't use Windows 10 on my main machine, so I'm not too experienced with that. I don't know what it's doing. But anyway, there we are. We're at desktop. Everything is done loading. Well, except for the Steel Series keyboard there. It's got to load the lighting profile that Mrs. J's two cents is set up. Now, of course, this didn't go without some sort of a surprise. And I think uh, the biggest surprise, obviously, is the fact that Jay likes to wear women's wigs when no one's looking. Now, because the Savage upgrade kit comes with this external enclosure, uh, you can take your old, old hard drive and put it in here, which you have to do during the upgrade process using the Cronus anyway. And in the end, at the end of the day, you've got an external drive. I mean, why take that hard drive out and let it just float around and do nothing? At least it's good for mass storage of music and media files, you know, pictures, maybe program archives, whatever it may be, project archives. Now you have an external drive here, kind of a bonus two for one. That's awesome that they include that. So obviously I saved a little bit of money on the front end because the model that included a one terabyte SSD pre-installed from MSI was way out of the price range I was willing to pay because it came with other things that just weren't important to my wife. For instance, a 970M or a 980M with the one terabyte or multiple hard drives that were just causing a lot of price bump for things that we weren't interested in. And for about 300 bucks, you can get uh, a nice high quality SSD to put in here for much less than the price jump would have been to go with a model that already had a one terabyte SSD in there. So that's always an option when doing uh, PC upgrades, especially for laptops. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe button. If you're new here and you learned something, share it with someone that maybe you were just having a conversation with, like, you know, you were having coffee with Joe and you were like, hey, Joe, you know, I've been wanting to put an SSD in my laptop but uh, it seems kind of hard and difficult. But you know what? Jay showed me it was really easy, so maybe you can do it too. Yeah, something like that. I think that's, that's typically how the sharing goes. Otherwise, if you guys don't want to do any of that and you don't want to follow on the social media, then we will just see each other in the next video. And until then, thanks for watching.